Okay guys, so I'm here in Meridian, Mississippi at Atlas Roofing. I filmed from here about a month ago. I had to wait out front about half an hour because there was another Oakley driver unloading ahead of me. There was actually two, but one of them was finishing up right as I got here. But, uh, I'm leaving my tarp on because there is a chance of rain. The guy wanted me to leave my tarp on. But this is it. You know, they have a grate here. And the roofing granules just go down into a storage container underground. But uh, that's about it. All of the uh, roofing shingles that... You know, the finished products are out on the front lot. Meridian, Mississippi. So once this starts to get kind of empty, I'll finish tilting my trailer all the way up. And then I'll have to get, uh, they've got this little tool here where I can get up into the corners, you know, and get the rest of it out. And then I'll let the trailer down and open up the gate a little bit and give it a sweep. Don't know where I'm going next. I called the dispatcher right when I got here uh, to see if he knew where I was going, and he didn't for sure. So he said, call when, I, when you get empty. So uh, that's a shot. That's what's going on. It's pretty hot today. But that's it, Meridian, Mississippi, Atlas Roofing, load of roofing granules. I didn't film any of this uh, pickup yesterday because it was kind of frustrating. When I went there, I, I got this in Little Rock at the 3M plant. And when I checked in, you know, I was supposed to be there by 2 p.m. And I got there about 1.30, tried to check in and the pickup number they had given me did not work. So I had to call in, wait for them to call me back. They gave me a different pickup number. That didn't work either. So I had to wait for another call back. You know, all this took a couple of hours. It was pretty frustrating. So finally, finally got loaded. And by the time I got loaded, I only had about 30 minutes of time left on my clock. So I just went back to the Oakley North Little Rock yard, camped out there and, uh, I left out this morning about 4.30ish. It was about a, I don't remember exactly, but it's about a seven hour drive from there to here. Something like a little under seven hours, I think. Okay, more later. All right, folks. Thought I'd show you a little bit of this. Not something you see every day. I'm on I-10, heading in towards uh, New Orleans. I'm going to Donaldsonville, Louisiana. I'm gonna pick up early in the morning, only because I don't have quite enough time to get there today. This place, uh, I think it's called CF Industries. They load 24-7, I think. But they don't have any overnight parking. And I might, depending on traffic around New Orleans, be able to get there this evening. But I would run out of time there, get loaded and all. And they don't have overnight parking and there's really nothing around there real close. So I've got a pilot picked out, probably about half an hour from there I'm gonna stop there got about an hour to go to get there and then get in there early in the morning you know probably like four o'clock or something like that and it delivers to a fertilizer co-op in Russellville Arkansas so that's probably gonna be about a eight-hour drive tomorrow said uh, I can deliver it up to 4 p.m. So I should be able to 
get that done. I've got a request this week to uh, get on by Thursday. Today is Tuesday. But I'm giving you a shot of the water. It's very windy down here. It's been raining kind of on and off for the last hour. Not at this time, but entering the Orleans Parish, as the sign just said. Water's pretty choppy out there. Like I said, pretty windy. Probably going to run into some more storm. Looking kind of uh, ominous up ahead in the distance. Look at the water. It's been a couple of months since I've been down in this area. I wanted to mention also I talked to Zachary, who lives down in Mississippi. I've been talking to him for a few months, you know, he's he's driving a LTL freight, uh, but he's been considering coming to Oakley and buying his own truck, and uh, he called me today, said he's filling out his application, and he's already talked to a leasing company about getting a truck, and that's something mentioning there you know I I talk about my truck a lot you know I bought this truck used it's a 2019 and I bought it from Arrow Truck Sales in Springfield Missouri and uh, you know they have their own financing company I think it's called Transport Funding and they work closely with Oakley but you know, there's other options. That's just the option I took. In fact, my uh, Robert, who I mentioned a lot on my videos, who I met when I was at Maverick, he was my trainer at Maverick. And then he came over to Oakley about a year before I did. So he ended up training me on the on the end dump here also. He does end dump also. Uh, but he bought a truck about three years ago, well I say bought, he's leasing it through, I forget the name of the company, but let me let me go into that a little bit, because it is a legitimate option, I think the way that works, and if, for any of you guys that are interested in that, I can put you in touch with Robert, because he's more familiar with it, but in a nutshell, I think uh, you have to come up with about 10 grand to get the lease started. And uh, I think they pretty much do Kenworths. So they'll put you in a new Kenworth. So, you know, you shouldn't have as, as many worries and repair costs because you're going into a new truck that's still warranty. But your monthly payments are going to be bigger than mine. Probably twice as much. Like my monthly payment on this truck is, uh, let's see, $2,150 I think, $2,150 a month. And the lease payments on those trucks are going to be more like $4,500 a month. But they have a have a relatively short leasing term too. I think it's under four years if I remember right. Don't, don't hold me to that, but it's a pretty, you know, so you'll have the truck paid off fairly quickly, but it is a, an option, you know, you don't have to come up with as much down. I think uh, they require 10, 10 grand, like I said, whereas to buy this truck and finance it, I had to come up with about 20 grand. So it's just, I'm telling you this just because there's options out there. And that's what Zachary has decided to do is uh, he's already talked to the leasing company. He's going to try to get on with Oakley and lease a truck like Robert did and 
get going. I think he's going to start in the hopper bottom division. And then he wants to go into the pneumatic tanker division eventually at some point, but it's easier to get started in the hopper division because you don't have to purchase anything additional to go on your truck. Like if you go into the pneumatic tankers, you have to get a blower kit installed on your truck. And Oakley takes you know a little bit out each week from your settlement for that until it's paid off. And like me on the endo division, we had to have a wet kit. Uh, you know, a hydraulic lift with the controls uh, installed. But with the hopper bottoms, you don't have to have any additional uh, anything like that. No extra equipment required. But the pay per mile is also different. You know, the hopper bottoms start out a little lower than the end dumps, and then the pneumatics are a little higher. So the per mile pay is different depending on the division. Anyway, so hopefully that goes smoothly and well for Zachary. I know he's been contemplating doing this for many months and trying to get out of what he's doing now. So hopefully that'll work out. So keep it posted. So, as I said, headed to Donaldsonville, Louisiana to get a load of fertilizer called Urea. I picked up down here once before, but it's been several months ago. Vaguely remember it. It's a place where you have to show your Twit card. I do remember that. I don't know. It's going to be dark when I'm loading, hopefully early in the morning, if it all works out right. I'll try to show you some if I can. All right, more later. All right, folks. Hey, it's Wednesday morning, about 5.20. I'm here at the CF Industries in Donaldsonville, Louisiana. It's a big place. Came in from way out there, scaled in, checked in, and you come through here. They had me pull into that gravel lot and then back into this loading area. The last time I picked up here, the only time I picked up here, they had me pull in that way. And they got a scale over there and a loading chute. But he said the scale is broken. So they're loading from inside this warehouse. Let me try to give you a shot of this. It's not real level, so it's going to be tricky. Uh, but they've got a, a hopper over here. They're getting a got a front end loader they're getting product from over there this is urea and they dump it in there and then it conveyors it into the truck so we're starting in the middle they don't have really any good way of telling how much they're putting in they're just kind of eyeballing it and then i'll turn my truck on here in a little while and get the gauges going and we'll just try to do the best we can i'll give you a shot of this real quick Hopefully there's enough light where you can see. So this is urea fertilizer going to Russellville, Arkansas to a fertilizer co-op from the sound of it. So this stuff looks, you know, like it's pretty light. Uh, but he's just dumping it in the hopper and then it flows up through the conveyor and drops down the chute. We're starting in the middle and then I'll have to back up and pull forward to kind of level out the load but uh, that's what's going on this is where your urea comes from all right more later okay guys i'm here in russellville arkansas delivering this load of urea fertilizer probably about halfway done see they got me backed up and it's dumping into the little catcher there and then conveys up into their warehouse i don't think these guys wanted to be on camera so i'm just 
stand back here. <laughs> Woo, it's a long trip, man. I had to really hustle to get here before they closed. It's like, uh, I don't know, what time is it? Four o'clock, 4 p.m. Yeah, just a little fertilizer uh, farmer's co-op kind of a deal. They got a, more warehouses up in the front. This is kind of the back side of the property. Russellville, Arkansas. Don't know what I'm doing after this. You know, I got a request to get home tomorrow. So the uh, dispatcher was checking to see if he might have a short run I could do tomorrow and still get home. Or I may just end up going home. Not sure. Anyway, that's what's going on. Let me go check on the guys. Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick wrap up. Um, it's Friday morning. I'm actually off the road today, as you can see. Uh, going to be having a long weekend, going up to the lake. Going to try to have a little fun. But I wanted to do a quick thank you to a couple of guys that have contacted me recently um, and let me submit their contact information and name to one of the Oakley recruiters. You know, they, they give us uh, Oakley drivers 200 bucks for submitting a qualified uh, owner operator candidate. So, Hey, 200 bucks, everything helps. Uh, Cause right now, for example, <laughs> my truck is, uh, I took it to the shop yesterday down at the MHC Kenworth dealership in Little Rock. Uh, my check engine light was on. Turns out it's the uh, inlet NOx sensor. I had the exterior NOx sensor replaced uh, back in December, right after I bought the truck. Actually, Aero Truck Sales paid for that, but not so this time. But uh, the work has been done. I'm going to go pick the truck up here in a couple of hours, get it back to the North Little Rock Oakley Yard, and then we're going to be hitting the road, go up to the lake. But I wanted to thank, uh, I've already mentioned this, but I got Zachary down in Mississippi. He's looking at leasing a truck, and he's already submitted his application coming on to Oakley. I got Andrew in Georgia. He's an interesting case. Uh, he's actually uh, from Australia where he had a lot of driving experience and uh, came over here to the States, got his CDL, and you know, he's trying to, he, he's having a problem getting on with a company as an owner operator uh, because all of his experience is out of the US. So I'm hoping that uh, I put him in contact with uh, Kent down in the recruiting department. Hopefully Kent can help him out. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but uh, thanks Andrew for letting me try to help you anyway. And then I have Gary over in Seminole, Oklahoma, who's uh, got lots of experience, used to have his own truck, but then did something else for a bit and is ready to sign on with Oakley or at least look into it get a truck again and uh, yeah that's a good area for Oakley freight I can tell you so I really appreciate it guys thanks for contacting me and letting me submit your information uh, I appreciate that $200 recruitment bonus okay that's it this is kind of a quick short video this week didn't do a whole lot of footage short week anyway uh, that's it. We'll see you out on the road next week.